Judge Seymour, thanks for taking a few minutes. Like I said, you know, I, I have a mediation coming up and I'm going to be meeting with my clients. I've done this for a number of years, but I've never had the opportunity to speak for someone like speak with someone like you who's had the experience from the other side of the, the bench. What what are the key things I should tell my client in terms of from your perspective as a mediator and as a judge? What should they think of in terms of going into this? That's a great question. And just to start off, mediation is a great tool. It's helpful to the individuals, it's helpful to companies, and it helps you be in charge of your destiny and have a voice in the resolution of your dispute. And unlike a trial where the judge makes the decision and the jury makes the decision, mediators do not make the decision. They sort of guide the discussions and they don't decide. And they give the parties an opportunity to have an open conversation about the issues. Um, they have an opportunity to jointly uh, resolve their concerns. However, in order for mediation to work, you have to keep in mind a few things, I think, before you go into the mediation. First of all, you have to have an open mind and you have to come to the table with the attitude that you want to resolve the case. And Think about the issues rather than the people that are involved about in the in the, in the uh, conflict. Think about what matters most to you, what you want to accomplish. You know whether you want recognition, whether you want justice, whether you want fair. Just think about what you want to come out of this mediation. And before you go to mediation, I think it's also helpful to think about what you'd like the outcome to be. Uh, come into the mediation being creative and have some possible resolutions to some of the, the issues that you see that may that may come up in the mediation. Uh, I know this might be difficult, but you have to be objective and kind of like leave your emotions at home and try not to be combative when you go into the mediation because it's an opportunity for you to sit down in a confidential setting and talk freely and privately about what your concerns are and have those concerns conveyed to the other side so that you can work together as a team to try to resolve it. Uh, and this helps to foster, you know, an affordable solution as opposed to going to trial. For example, in, you know, large trucking cases like you handle, um, some of the uncertainty associated with cases like these, uh, like unpredictable jury verdicts, uh, the additional attorney time that might be involved if you were to go to trial. And, you know, you don't know how a witness is going to perform on the stand if you were to go to trial. So it takes away some of these uncertainties uh, when you go to mediations. And uh, that you can think about, um, and you may have already done some discovery. You might have some expert reports or medical expense reports. And these are tools that you can bring into the mediation to help guide you uh, during the mediation process. Perfect. I appreciate that, Judge. It's a great perspective, and I'll pass it on to my clients. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you.